What's going on guys? I know it's like some of you guys if you didn't watch the birthday video you're like what is this guy? Who is this guy? Where did I get kidnapped? Doesn't matter where I got kidnapped. I got kidnapped by a, a strong Responsible man the only man that has mister in front of his name because he's just that precious now We're gonna be going in here with mr. Mime. I haven't uh, done. I feel like I want to do today We're gonna celebrate the supports because that's pretty much the role that I keep getting if I want my team to win Because everyone just plays hyper offensive every two seconds. It's so annoying So why not just 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 roll with it? I rather get wins and get dubs, but so, you know Sometimes you do have to step up and actually carry, but you can also carry with characters like Mr. Mime. And then I'll probably do, uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what to do after this, but, you know, I, I just kind of wanted to pay respects to the man because he's just doing so much work for me. So, yeah. So, first off, we're going to start off with his basic attacks. Becomes a boosted attack with every third attack, and it deals increased damage, which is who cares, but throwing. He actually pops you up, which is really important. Uh, so, if you're getting close and you're going to start winning, uh, not winning, but you're, you're going to get that thing, just make sure not only is it it's a slight AoE around it, but, you know, if you can get a flash pop up, you know, that would be pretty good for you to get. Next up is Filter. Reduces damage received by the Pokemon for a short time after it uses a move. So, if it makes him a little bit tanky when he uses something. And this is really important if you are using the screens because the screens have multiple uses on them. So, it's a little bit nice. Like, oh, maybe use a move. I'm taking damage. I can use a move. A nice to have. But this is one of those nice to haves that you can manipulate. I always say some of the other ones, like, you can't manipulate it. But this one, you can. So, after a short time after using a move. So, throw a move. Especially uh, your Confusion. You throw them backwards. And then if they try to dive with you. You're, you're a little bit more tankier at that time, right? Uh, the Unite move is going to be Showtime at the Apollo. Has the user jump into a designated location and start a pantomime performance. Pretty much, he just it's an AoE damage over time. It does it keeps ticking damage as long as you're stuck in it, and it stuns them every every once in a while. It's really good, especially for because I know I've been altered against it it messes up people's moves as well because if they're trying to do a move and they randomly get stunned they it maybe didn't come out and it's a nightmare to bounce around right and then uh we'll go to the screens which i've seen people use guard swap i'm going to read it just because i want to know why they're using it but most people use barrier uh, a barrier light screen starts off it's pretty good they can't move around it Barrier gets a little bit better. As you can see, it creates a wall that prevents Pokemon from passing it. A maximum of two uses can be kept in reserve. And then uh, if it upgrades, it increases the maximum number of uses that can be kept in reserve for this move. It's just pretty much, it's like the same thing as Light Screen, it's, which is weird about it. I do think, it doesn't say it here, but I do think it does block special moves that try to go through it. I think that it, it doesn't say that opposing Pokemon. For, no, it, it doesn't say that, but I, I think it does block special moves. Like if uh, if you're throwing a projectile, I think it does block it. But do not quote me on that. I'll try to get that in video. As you can see, it's two seconds because it's just, it loads up. Now, Guard Swap, on the other hand, I've seen some people use it. But in this video, uh, when I do the guides for now, I just want to like chest out both. You know, or you know what happens if I lose? I gotta, I gotta make up for it, right? <laughs> Swaps that uses defense and special defense stats with those of another Pokemon for a short time. Uh, swapping with a, you can hit it with an enemy or an ally, right? So they'll, they'll be slow. They'll take damage over time. And if you do it with an ally Pokemon, they get movement speed. They only get one bonus. But as you can see, the upgrade continuously restores the HP of the user and the ally. So it's like a healing kind of thing to make yourself more tankier. So I could see that being. Like, because sometimes the barriers, the walls, don't really do too much. But the problem is, then you go here. Fake out is what you start off with. It's just like a little clap. But then you have confusion, which it, you push. It does like a push. Uh, but if they run into an obstacle, which is your barriers, it increases the damage they receive, which is by a lot. And they also get stunned. If the opposing Pokemon is currently guard swapped, it is not shoved, but receives increased damage from this move and is left unable to act for a certain while so at least you still get the stun if you if you don't go with the wall you have to guard swap and hit it with confusion but confusion also is just overall really really good because it it you can just aim it towards a wall if they're in between a wall or any type of obstacle and it will stun as well psychic i tried it before it just seems really weird uh it's like an it's an aoe around yourself and you attack as like you said any guard swap any pokemon or any light screen or barrier walls created by the user damages all opposing pokemon caught in the blast and lowers their special defense for a short time if the opposing pokemon is hit by multiple overlapping blasts that pokemon is also left unable to act for a short time it uh upgrades you will also lower their movement speed it's this seems weird i honestly think that they should be switched psychics is always seen like a more of a projectile thing but this psychic is like he just kind of like runs up to you it, it looks terrible but we will try it we will try it for the video 
And as far as items, especially because of the alt, I'm definitely going to suggest the eject button. It, um, I don't know, eject button with alts like the ones that he has. Though he does kind of jump into place anyway. Uh, you can also do a flash uh, barrier, which is pretty good. Or the psychic move, we might need to flash and use that. But I don't know, it's going to be really, really awkward. Uh, but as far as uh, I have all the I have all the items now. I have all the items now I definitely like exp share you see you get HP and movement speed uh, Which is two great things him movement speed is amazing for him because you want to be able to get into position to use the barrier Because uh, that's the main thing that he uses right uh, also you can see that the exp share gives you uh, exp when you are the person on the team that has the least and you should be because your support so give your please for the love of God give your Give your team the EXP that they need to carry. Even if they don't carry, at least at least you did your job right. Next up, we have the Buddy Barrier, more HP, which is fantastic. And this one, of course, when you use your Unite move, you give a, you get a shield and you give someone else a shield, so that's pretty good. Now, this is the only other thing that gives you movement speed. I do think, it, like I said, I do think it's really good, but uh, it's more of a jungle item. Uh, because you get movement speed out of combat, but that's also really good because it allows you to place a barrier if you're trying to run up and get someone in a, in a, in a thing. Uh, but I also would rather have one of these, Shell Bell or the Energy Amplifier. I would think that maybe Shell Bell because it does heal him when he does hit with a move. He also has heal if you're going the Guard Swap, but Energy Amplifier also reduces cooldowns, so you can run both of those as well, or depending on what mixture that you wanna go. But I do like these because the cooldown Having something come up even a second quicker is life-saving. It's life-changing. So just, I sometimes want to run both of these and hopefully have them maxed out to 20 at one day, one magical day. And maybe they'll each give 5%. I'm hoping that they get to a decent amount. Maybe then I'll have 10% cooldown reduction or something like that. But I do think that these are, don't, don't forget that cooldown is a thing that you can reduce in this game through items. All right, so let's just go into ranked and uh, suffer because I cannot maintain. And I noticed that it's, uh, I'm in class three, right? I have to get into class five and then I think win and then I get to the next level uh, which would be veteran and it's just been a nightmare trying to get in there so hopefully we can get a good game going all right we got the classic no one's telling me where they're going we have two pretty much three supports or uh, defenders uh, and only one uh, two DPS is right now so this is gonna look bad but everyone's ready they say that they're ready please help <laughs> please help Oh yeah, and I actually I'm starting to play with some of the other options. I don't know who should be getting this. Should it be me? So that I'm a level higher than him. Oh, that's his wall. I, I was so confused by that. Ooh, got him. I got him. Nice. All right, I'm going to put us in position for this. Oh, I messed it up. Never been at a thing where it's like two of us. Look at that. See, the damage of getting caught by that is just ridiculous. Uh, we're going barrier, this one. Oh, the damage. Pat him out. There we go. Uh, that guy's going somewhere he shouldn't be. I'm gonna go get the cap here. Oh boy, missing that just looks like you don't know how to play. Massive damage there. Oh, I missed. I think there would have been proper to just flash first. He's actually gonna get a score. Pop him into that. Nope. Get him with that. Push him into my point. Get him. Oh. Yes. Yes. I was waiting for my cooldown. And again, a couple seconds. Not to say that it only happened because of that, but it looks like they were trying to do what's my for some reason. Level three slow bro walking. I I don't know what's going on. 
I was losing a few games. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if these are these the upgraded bots or are these the, the the bots new wave. Yeah. Are you still trying to do this? What are you doing? we go yeah if I was gonna get a bot game I would have preferred that it was uh not against these guys but we're not using the other the move set see what that order oh my god that damage oh boy Into the wall. Oh my god. I'm terrible. I, I, uh. See, now this must not be a bot match because they would have surrendered by now. There we go. There's the ult. Finally get to use it. Ooh, the damage. I'm trying to make it target slow, bro. Go over there, you're gonna die. See, I wish that that worked. There's the upgrade one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I put it too far back, really? Okay, so it doesn't block projectiles. All right, now I see that. Oh, he put me behind it. Oh, I got killed. I got killed, uh, but I don't know. They just seem very robotic, so. Before they steal, yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, dude, if I lose a bot match, I'm I'm super done. I what oh boy. What oh boy. Five, four, three. Two, one, time's up. You win. That, that's so bad though. It really is. That's really bad. Very strange, but we'll take it. All right, this time we're gonna go with the psychic and the guard swap and see how that goes. Probably against real people. Oh boy. Now everyone wants to play support? Oh my God, it's so annoying. Everyone, now we're, uh, uh, okay, he's switching. Thank God. Thank you. I, I'll play support. It's fine. I think that people are starting to get frustrated like me, and they're just be like, yo, bro, they're just locking in Elder Gross. They're like uh, locking in Crustle. There's like three support players uh, going in there trying to counteract people that are just like, I'm going to go play DPS no matter what. I, I think people are starting to get the, 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 they're getting the memo that it's not, it's not a way of life. It's not a way of life. All right, I got the top part uncontested. Hopefully he's not fighting. He was fighting. Got the clap on him. Nice combo. Might cause a flash here. I'm gonna back out here. He has that free. Good. Mr. Mine, baby. Uh, I don't know what he's trying to do. Are they trying to cap? All right, I did that just for the stun. I died. That's fine. All right, so we're going unfortunately confusion. So this is psychic. Look, like I I know that it's like an AOE and then he boosts it, like bumps you out. But like, 
Yeah, I don't know. I guess he's going Shadow Ball. Alright, hit him with the Psychic there. Looks like it's gonna be a kill. Where you going? Maybe you can knock him up. Can we get a knock up? Nope. Gonna, oh, I did that a little bit wrong. I'm gonna just get some new fear. Okay, I'm not. Sorry, I lied. Okay. <laughs> that wrong. Especially against them, being like even remotely trying to be melee with, against them is gonna be really difficult. Alright, we're going guard swap. What does this look like? Oh, it's just a projectile. Hit him with the psychic. Oh boy. Now I wonder if I have to stay close to them. I could also just aim at my. my... Okay. I can also keep missing. He altered it. Alright, make sure we got that. So you're gonna do some AoE damage. Do the damage. Okay, he was very low, but we did get the dreadnought and um he 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 already has ult. Power leveling people is crazy, man. That's that's actually nuts. Psychic did a lot of damage. I think the, I think it's like the more people I hit, the more damage it did. It, it, it is a decent amount of damage there. Maybe maybe he threw a move on top of it, but Ooh. this might be okay. So now that I'm looking at, it, maybe this is a DPS mime. That's how you like go crazy because. Instead of needing a wall to do damage, you can just use the psychic and it does a decent amount of damage instead. That might be the that might be the difference here. And you also take more damage from this. Oh, it actually project Okay. Oh, that's a little dirty. So if you are guard swap, the psychic projects from you. Like that. Oh, and if you get Oh, wow. I actually did not know that. I did not know that at all. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, Cramorant did not get hit, by the way. He's gonna ult here. There we go. Beautiful. There it is. They can't do the damage. Oh. Uh, you didn't see it. You didn't see it. You did see it. <laughs> Got a little bit too spicy down there. But it's nice that... And also, I can put it on an ally. So, th there's a lot of... Uh, oh, well, the lag. It's a lot of lag. Uh, there's a lot of different implications that you can use on that. Let's say if I put that on a, a Zerora, you know, like someone that's going to be diving in. All right. Oh, uh, but see, I, I get used to it uh, without the assist aiming. I did turn it off, though. It, I, I am going to be missing a lot of skills until I get used to aiming it. There we go. So now he has increased movement speed. We both have the thing on like that. Cool. Yeah, but that's a st that's a tanky meatball you got going on there. All right, got him. Ooh, and that was all my damage right there. That is some damage, boy. If you get hit with both of those, oh boy, oh boy, that's looking kind of spicy. Got him. Oh no, I did not get him. I would ult him. Okay, I am gonna ult. Ulting. Got him with the... Okay, it does have a line, but it just doesn't tell you that it does. Damage. Damage. I don't know if I can get out. Oh. You see what? 
You see what? Uh, if I actually had enough cooldown, I think that I can get two psychics off. But I, I obviously don't. But I think I can get two psychics off within a guard within a guard swap timer. Why would you do that? What, 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 what do you think you're doing, sir? All right, we just have to make sure that they don't do it. We're already in the lead. They are here. Um, oh, what wrong way? All right. We want to be a part of that at all. Do I swap you? Let's see what you think. Oh, oh. Guard swap kind of spicy. Put that on you. All right. All right, nice. Missed that, that's fine. I do have my ult here. Give him the movement speed. Oh. Oh, end up dying, dying, dying. Dying, 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 dying. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, they wanted to get this, which is a risk. This is an unnecessary risk. Because uh, they have the ability to just kind of snipe it. And uh, they didn't at that point. And they all get stunned by the Zapdos passive. My champ with the follow-up. Boom. But there's no reason when you're ahead to do that. But we, uh, fortunately, that was... Uh, and we're going to do that. Guard Swap Psychic. I'm actually a fan. I I might have I might have come across the, the hidden tap. I did not know that. That was a that was a way more decisive fight right there. Oh, I might I might do that more often. Like I said, uh, the guard swap actually is is way better than I thought it was. So look at that. We fed that Kramer and he actually goes on and carries the game. We let him. He was level nine really quickly, and that's kind of what you want. That actually is like I would think the almost the perfect. Uh, game right there and we're gonna go back to class four for that uh i think that that was probably the best like i fed him he was like he was way over leveled i'm pretty sure the other two were uh taking cs i gave him pretty much all the cs outside of like when i was by myself and he skyrocketed that is how you want to support especially because as you can see i don't need much uh most of the supports are based on that they don't need much to do their job uh so you can just exp share and i have a the level one version of exp share so so what did you guys think about mr mime so this confusion thing like i like it says creates an on uh, see blast each on the user and any guard swap opposing pokemon and any light screen so if i were to put this on the light screen it puts it on the light screen or barrier that's what it's saying so i mean that also could be pretty good right because i can actually oh boy i might do another video <laughs> I might do another video because light screen once it gets really low on cooldown you could throw two of those out right oh my god I'd have to I have to see that yo let me know in the comment section you guys want to see that that seems like it would be nuts throwing out a bunch of barriers and then like using the psychic move that gives him some long range stupidity actually uh, so he doesn't actually have to get close whatsoever so he's he's a super multifaceted character man holy Jesus he's super super flexible super adaptive to whatever you see you're fighting. If you're fighting a, a team that's not gonna get close at all, you can just throw a light screen out there and then just psychic it. Uh, if you feel like you're fighting a team that's gonna be up in your face, like a Gengar, and uh, they have Zero Roar, they have Garchomp, you know, stuff like that, maybe then you go with the wall and then the con confusion to push them off of you. Because obviously that you see there, I can't really push them off at all. I have to hope that they're staying at a distance or something like that. So I, I definitely like that. And also guard swap looks like it's better if they're they're gonna be a little bit closer to you as well. So cool, like that. YFOs in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about Mr. Mime. I think everyone should pick up this character. He's fantastic. I think he's in the base kit. I think he's uh, everyone uh, starts off with him, right? So I think you should definitely pick up some Mr. Mime. That's gonna be it for me. Like, comment, and subscribe. And just remember that every day at the Cash in that you're lucky day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.